Hey, what's going on guys? Hunter Lobby here and welcome to my channel. And as you guys can tell behind me, we're actually in sort of a different scenery than we are usually uh, when we film videos because in today's video, we're actually gonna be doing a vlog. And with that vlog, we're actually going to head over to TJ Maxx to see if we can find any kind of like hidden gems or anything like that as far as fragrances go. So yeah, I'm so excited to do this since I love watching these kind of videos and see what kind of fragrances people find at their TJ Maxx. So yeah. Stay tuned and let's see if we can find any kind of hidden gem. Guys, we gotta do the final touch, the outfit. We gotta add the scent of the day. Now here in Ohio, it's actually gonna be um, a high of 81 degrees, so it's pretty warm. Um, so I think what I'm actually gonna pull out is Aqua Di Gio Profondo. Just an easy, dumb reach for this kind of weather, guys. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do four sprays of this. So let's apply this and we'll head out. Alright guys, so I just pulled up to TJ Maxx. Now, this TJ Maxx is the one that's closest to my house. Um, I was here about a week or two before Father's Day and everything was completely empty. So I'm hoping they at least restock and we can find something to buy. If not, we're going to have to head to a, another TJ Maxx that is fairly close as well. So let's go in here, see what they have, and hopefully we can find something. All right, so I just pulled up to the next TJ Maxx. Um, as you guys can see from the previous clip, at the other TJ Maxx, there's absolutely nothing. All they pretty much had was Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, which wasn't even the O Extreme, if it I mean the O Intense. If it was the O Intense, I probably would have picked that up since I don't own it, but it was only the original uh, Light Blue. So I'm um, at this new TJ Maxx. I'm gonna go in there and see if we can find anything to buy, guys. So let's go in and take a look. All right, so I just got back in the car. Um, I actually did find 
some things in there as you guys can see from the video. Um, I'm not sure what you guys will pick out out of what I shown, but what I bought was actually Burberry Touch, the 100 mil bottle for $39.99. I know um, this is a little bit more expensive than like on the discounters, but I believe on Fragrance Net it's going for around 30 bucks right now. Plus obviously tax and shipping, you'd be right around 40 bucks anyway. So I'm glad to actually finally have this. I did own this as a kid. I remember having this on my dresser, um, but I haven't actually smelled it in so long. And this is probably in a lot of people's opinions, the best Burberry fragrance for men. So I'm glad to have this in the collection. But I also bought another fragrance as well. And this is pretty much out of nowhere. It is an absolute blind buy. And I got Versace Blue Jeans, guys, which is an absolute classic. I believe it was released almost in like around the early 90s. And I paid $19.99 for this 75 mil, which is the only size this actually comes in. Now, I did smell this uh, from the cap inside. They actually had an open one. I got the one that was in the uh, in the packaging still where you had to take it off. But from what I smelled, it actually smelled pretty good, guys. Um, I pretty much got this. I might wear it once in a while. But I pretty much got this just to have in the collection since I like to collect fragrances. So, and I think this bottle looks absolutely fantastic. Kind of like a cowboy thing. Uh, I mean, this packaging, it's like, uh, kind of like uh, Jean Paul Gaultier with the uh, the can tin kind of thing. But yeah, I bought these two fragrances. I spent around 60 bucks, 40 even the 20. Cause um, I actually did have a $50 gift card for TG Maxx. That's why I kind of want to do this as well. So I pretty much only spent like $10 of my money and got two of these fragrances, Burberry Touch and Versace Blue Jeans, man. So yeah, I'm gonna um, pretty much head home. Um, I'm actually gonna do an unboxing and first impression of both of these in a separate video like I usually do. But yeah, uh, let's head on home and we'll go from there, guys. All right, so I am back home, guys, as you can see. Um, now I am happy with the purchases with the uh, Burberry Touch and Versace Blue Jeans. I'm excited to add those to the collection. The only other fragrances that I saw there that I that would be a possibility for me to get is, of course, Versace the Dreamer. They had 100 mil there for 30 bucks. As you guys know, I do already own Versace the Dreamer, and it is probably the most memorable fragrance in my collection. So I thought about maybe getting that just as a backup bottle because it is discontinued, but I just passed on it. Then they also have um, Davidoff Cool Water. They had a 4.2 for about, I believe, around 27 bucks. I was also thinking about getting that as well since I don't own Cool Water. They also had a huge 200 mil there as well for like 36 bucks, which is a fantastic deal. But I don't usually like getting like huge bottles like that, like 200 mil bottles or anything like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the uh, Burberry Touch and Versace uh, Blue Jeans. Uh, I'm about to get ready to record the video and unbox those and do my first impression. So if you guys want to know my thoughts on those two fragrances, stay tuned for those videos coming up. But that's going to wrap up this vlog. Um, I did actually enjoy making this. If you guys liked the vlog style that I did um, and you want to see more, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to do so since these are pretty enjoyable. But yeah, leave it a like if you liked the video. Comment down below and also let me know your, your thoughts on those two fragrances if you, if you think they were good purchases. and your opinion i'm um, definitely curious but yeah subscribe if you guys have not and i'll see all you guys in the next fragrance video take care everybody